live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering Dell Technologies World 2018. Brought to you by Dell EMC and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back to the Sands. We continue here live on theCUBE, our coverage here of Dell Technologies World 2018. 14,000 attendees wrapping up day three. We are live, as I said, with Stu Miniman. I'm John Walls, and it is now our pleasure to welcome to the set Steve Fingerhut, who is the uh, SVP and GM of SSD and Cloud Software Business Units at Toshiba Memory Americas. Steve, good to see you, sir. Great to have you. Great and uh, Ravi Pindakani, who is the SVP of Server Solutions, Product Management, and Marketing at Dell. Thank you, John. Ravi, good to see you, sir. Same here, sir. Yeah, let's, let's talk about, um, just first off, you know, show theme, make it real, right? Digital transformation, but make it real. Yeah. So, what does it mean to the, the two of you? We've heard that theme over and over again, and what do you think that means to your customers as well? How do you make it real for them? First and foremost, um, I think uh, the whole idea of new workloads coming in play. Uh, people talk about machine learning and deep learning as you, I'm sure, are aware of. Uh, people talk about analytics. The fact is, we, each of us is collecting a lot more data than a year ago, uh, which is good for my friend uh, Steve and and others, and obviously we like the fact that customers are looking at making more real-time, if not near real-time, analysis, and the whole notion of governmental agencies across the world trying to go into more of a, a digital world where, and if you look, like, if you look at a country like India, for example, I mean, they have got over a billion people who are looking at Aadhaar cards where they didn't have a form of identification for each of the individuals. Now, if they've gone through a new transformation phase where they want to ensure that every single one of them actually has a way of identification and it's all done digitally with accounts and everything else that goes on. These are just some of the manifestations of the digital transformation we see, whether it is in your industries, uh, pick your favorite one, whether it's financial in the, you know, sector, the manufacturing, healthcare, all the way to governmental agencies. I think each of them are looking at how do they look at providing the right set of services, either for their customers or their community, communities at large. And uh, you know, we can't be more excited about what this I mean, this provides as an opportunity for us to go back and provide a way for them to communicate and do some cool things. All right, Steve. So, yeah, Ravi, you mentioned the workloads that are driving the the new campaign or that you're highlighting in the new campaign, Make It Real, and uh, many of those workloads are, uh, they're new architectures and they were basically built from day one on SSDs, right, counting on that performance, reliability, et cetera. And so obviously that's what we're here to promote at the show. And you can see the new workloads, obviously anything cloud very much counts on SSDs and flash. And then as you get into machine learning, uh, different types of artificial intelligence, those are certainly counting on the performance uh, of SSDs and uh, keep nothing more real than actual products in hand. So with uh, Ravi's products and ours, we have a number of demos, including the, the new AMD platforms uh, that the PowerEdge team is rolling out, uh, running all of these new workloads on Toshiba SSDs. So it's a good, uh, good, good way to make it real, right? Yeah, Steve, maybe Bring us in a little bit, kind of the, the state of storage, though. We talk about SSDs, we're, we're now a decent way into it. Uh, yes. Dell's announcement's talking a lot about NVMe. Maybe, for, for, give us the Toshiba viewpoint on uh, memory and storage and some of those transitions we're going through. Right, well I guess the secret's out that SSDs are a great, a great addition, right? Take pretty much any environment and you add SSDs and it will go faster, so it's pretty much the biggest bang for the buck in terms of uh, incremental performance, so what that means is just tremendous growth, uh, and the last couple of years have been uh, really for the industry, yep. keeping up with that really increased demand. Um, so there's, uh, you know, there's inherent efficiencies in the SSDs, we're trying to build as many as we can, and then uh, obviously try to help our customers use them in the most efficient ways possible. Yeah, I, I agree with Steve, I mean, it is an efficiency equation, um, the fact of the matter is, uh, you really do need, cost, I mean, you do need to provide our customers with a better way of uh, ensuring that timely information is made available. Again, it's information, and it has to be timely, because if you really don't provide it at a time when our customers need it, there's really no uh, advantage of being really 
having the right infrastructure, right, or lack of for that matter. Uh, case in point, uh, if you look at what we just announced, uh, Stu, yesterday we had talked about uh, the R840, for example, which is a four socket uh, server, and uh, we have actually announced it with 24 NVMe drives. Believe it or not, that's about two times more than the rearest competitor. That just gives you an idea into the amount of data that customers are consuming mm -hmm. and the applications, obviously, and more importantly, uh, you know, when we were coming up with this notion, we felt that 12 was probably a good number, maybe 24 was going to be a stretch, and the number of customers we have talked to even in the last two days, I mean, it's been huge, wherein they say, wow, we can't wait to go get this product in our hands, because mm. that really shows you that there is already a, a pretty big demand uh, for these kinds of technologies to be brought in. So. Yeah, I, 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 I like what you were saying there, Ravi, because I'd like both of you to help connect the dots us for a little bit, because when I think back to, okay, what speed uh, disk did I have, or what's the flash piece in, this was something that it was traditionally the, you know, the server admin, maybe there's some application person that came in, yeah. but you're talking about C-level discussions here. The trends that Jeff Clark talked about in his keynote right. as to, you know, this is what the business driving things like AI and ML and some of those. Steve, how, how are the conversations changing uh, to get the, you, you know, this piece of the infrastructure up at more of the C-level uh, discussion? Right, it, it certainly is. As you, uh, it's part of the transformation where it's been talked about it several times this week. IT has moved from being a, a cost center to the revenue center, and then that puts uh, uh, you know puts it on the CEO's yeah. radar much more squarely. Uh, you definitely want to, if you're the CIO, CTO, infrastructure leader, your goal is to try to deliver that agility. Right? Don't stand in the way of revenue, while managing security, managing cost, and it's those dynamics, and uh, you know, it's it's not a new conversation, but it's the, the public versus private, hybrid, what exactly should go where, uh, and those are uh, still top of mind for all the customers we're talking to. I, actually, you know, Steve hit on something else, if I may, which is about security. Right. And I can't tell you, Stu, a good 70% of the customers in an average today do not finish a conversation in, in the 30 minute chunks we have had without talking about what is it you guys are going to do for security. Mm -hmm. And that's a huge number or an increase from where we were just even a year or two ago, right? And imagine, but, and, and having said that, if you really had a, you know, a longer conversation, security obviously is one of those fundamental pillars that everybody comes down to, because everybody's worried about data and the fact that you know, there's, there's leakage of information, if I may, mm -hmm. uh, pertaining to this. Uh, and more importantly, you know, making it real, if I may, to your point earlier on, John, uh, as well, which is customers don't want to look at just the buzzwords, they're now asking for proof points. Mm -hmm. Proof points on, hey, what does this really mean in terms of security? For example, when we talk about zero arrays, or you know, secure arrays, sorry, which is you know, how do you go retire an old data uh, server or a box without necessarily worrying about the bits and bytes you know, being left on the disk drives. Mm -hmm. So we have come up with new technologies which enables all the drives to be wiped, right? Makes it a lot easier, of course, with some of the stuff we do with Toshiba and some of their technologies as well. But my point again being that, I think now our C-level execs are coming in and asking us for not just the major teams, but they're actually more interested in finding out how and what is it we're doing to help some of those major teams. Um, and um, I, I think the number of requests we have had for some of the white papers we have come out with, uh, Steve, has I think only grown, has only grown up now. Absolutely. Uh, which I don't think was happening in the past from the C-level execs. Uh, so it's absolutely a valid statement. Right, well there were uh, Senate hearings last year on some pretty famous data breaches and you mm -hmm. have mm -hmm. senators grilling CEOs and I, it was a shocking, they actually used, there was a senator who used the term full disk encryption and taking a CEO to task for not using right. full disk encryption and so I think that might help. You talk about getting on the sea level radar. That was that good helps. staff work there. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> that was a good plan. Yeah, right. Uh, but, well, I mean, but to the point of security, obviously with this, this exponential growth of data, unstructured, you know, blowing up, and all of a sudden yeah. you become a lot riper, if you will, and you've got a lot more to manage. And so with that, I mean, how much more at risk 
our people, and is that what's raising the awareness now in the C-suite, that to realize that you know, they've got, they're, they're a much bigger target now than maybe when data wasn't as plentiful you know, back in the old days, if you will. Is that part of this? Or is that it? Is that I, I believe it's a big part of it. Yeah. And, um, uh, and one of the other things that's obviously going with this is if you really look at the disclosures that any of us have to go through, uh, uh, even in terms of whether it's a simple credit card you're looking at, um, I don't know if you've ever seen this, and, and as we were doing some of the analysis, we noticed even a simple credit card application, we'd had some security and, and uh, you know, personal information clauses. It's actually gone up by about 120% in terms of the number of things they ask for. Mm. And, and, and making sure that the consumer is aware as well, mm -hmm. right? I don't think that happened before, and, and the fact of the matter is, I don't think there's a single day that we can go through any of the trade press without somebody coming out with a security breach maybe, mm -hmm. or a security feature, whether it's hardware or software. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just, uh, you know, this whole secure encryption device or drives, I think there's a huge demand for that as well, right? Absolutely. And you talk about the data growth, uh, it's obviously been phenomenal. In his keynote Monday, Michael Dell talked about the data growth from machine to machine, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to make this look like, uh, like a, a little bit of data. So uh, that, like you said, this, that, that risk, the exposure is much larger, uh, and you have to keep that data secure. So, uh, and so as Ravi mentioned, we work closely with Dell. There's a lot of, it's not an easy problem to solve, yeah. right? So there's a lot of engineering to make sure that you have that end-to-end -end, mm -hmm. uh, uh, security, and that's where we work with things like the uh, ins instant system erase, right? So yeah. you can one button erase a system in minutes versus in the past it might take hours or days and do you really trust that it's gone? Mm -hmm. uh, those types of things and so I think those are uh, mm -hmm. enabling a much more robust security and you basically have to make it easy, right? Yep. For the Letting people sleep at night. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. that's, that's, that's what you're doing. <laughs> You know, in the past, the only way you could do that was you had to write a series of zeros and ones on the drive. And that could take, you know, hours together. That's how you would erase your data, mm -hmm. right? Or now, when you talk about autonomous vehicles, imagine there's a whole big, whole discussion mm -hmm. as much as how do you make sure that you have the, that's kind of an edge computing, as Jeff, I think, mentioned on the stage yesterday, that you want to not have latency come in between making a deterministic turn Right, or you know, an object appears, you don't want to wait for the braking system to play because some decision needs to be made in a remote center, mm -hmm. right? Which essentially means now you have got data being collected and analyzed and acted upon. Mm -hmm. And there are you know, things like that, and you probably have heard of all, all the insurance companies are working on, you know, what kind of data can be collected because when crashes happen, mm -hmm. right, how do you make sure that you know, there are privacy laws in place mm -hmm. and whatnot, mm -hmm. who, are, has, mm -hmm. who has access to it? Uh, plenty of stuff. Sure. Yeah. Steve, want to get your viewpoint. We're getting not far from the end of the show. Why don't you give, in general, the partner viewpoint of Dell Technologies World, and specifically Toshiba. I know you've got, you know, there's the booth, there's party, there's demos, there's labs, there's a lot of activity your team's doing for, so th those haven't been here. And, you know, Toshiba's worked with both Legacy Dell, Legacy EMC, any commentary to close on, on, on that coming right. together? I think last year I used the Jordan Pippen uh, analogy, but it's, <laughs> it's, it's only gotten better since then, so it's, uh, it's a great partnership. We're definitely growing sh strong together, and uh, you know, that, like you said, that's, that doesn't happen overnight. That's years yeah. of, uh, of hard work and, and trust that, that makes that a possibility, but I uh, truly believe we're only getting started. And uh, you know, one of our goals we're working together is how do we make these uh, these important capabilities like security more common, uh, more accessible, lower cost, those types of things. So that's a uh, a major factor, major focus area for us going forward. But definitely, see, this is this is just the beginning. Yeah. And any key highlights from the show or activities that your team's <coughs> been doing here that you'd like to leave us with? Sure. Yeah, we have a. A significant presence here. We have eight server demos running. Uh, like I mentioned, the AMD servers, multiple workloads across uh, these new emerging workloads, and then uh, the hands-on uh, demo zone. We're actually, uh, you know, they're, they're developers can use the systems and software they want to evaluate. They can use them in the cloud. Those are all uh, being driven by Toshiba, and of course, uh, as part of the Dell solution. So, yeah, we're we're uh, happy, honored to be a big part of the show this year. 
But you know, Jordan Pippen, I was thinking more like Curry Durant. That's where yeah, I was exactly. going with that. Exactly, right? that would be a little more up to date. I'm good with Jordan, no, he wasn't bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah that was a pretty good pair, like you yeah, two that's are. Right. Thanks for joining us both. We appreciate Robbie, Thank you. Steve, Thank good you. seeing you here. Thank you very much. Uh, back with more, we continue our live coverage here on theCUBE. We're at Dell Technologies World 2018, and we are in Las Vegas.